Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles The New Batman Adventures, figure 34, The Joker. Easily one of Spot's least desired new looks, or updated looks, at the new Batman Adventure characters. Joker, I disliked. I sure did like the inc the different outfit here, more in greens, the purples, and stuff like that, but I did not like the head sculpt. Never liked the head design, and though I am happy that we are getting a Joker released here from the Batman New Adventures, and of course in incorporating a couple of hyenas, which is a fantastic accessory to be incorporating, I feel like I'm, I'm going to be underwhelmed as, uh, basically at the end of it because I just don't like the head sculpt. Uh, it does have 16 pieces, uh, warning choking hazard, small parts not for children under three years of age, back of the package, nothing. Other than DCComics.com and www.comicshoplocator.com, there is no other read-up or anything like that. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up, and I don't want you to feel that just because I've said and I've alluded to the fact that I'm going to dislike the character design, the figure actually might end up being really, really good, simply just based on a design I don't care for. That being said, what's Spot going to say? You're just going to have to find out. As I take a break, I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the DC Collectibles, the new Batman Adventures, figure number 34, the Joker. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Before we feast our eyes on the Clown Prince of Crime, let's have a look at some of the accessories that come included with him. First things first, he comes included with an instruction guide. Not specifically for Joker necessarily, but just showing you how the display stand works. And then on the other side, some of the characters and how you can swap out their hands, including the Scarface down below as well. Additionally, you get yourself a pamphlet, of course, product pamphlet, showing you some of the figures, the upcoming releases from the folks over at, Dime, uh, at DC Collectibles. I want to say Diamond Select Toys. Uh, the Batman and Robin with Bat Signal, Harvey Bullock, Ventriloquist, which we haven't looked at yet on this channel, Talia al Ghul, the Joker, a, uh, a multi-pack, not only of the Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Livewire, Supergirl, and Batgirl, want to get my hands on that, from Girls' Night Out, but then there's also the Legends of the Dark Knight, Batman, Robin, and Mutant Leader, super, super cool, looking forward to that. We'll put that to the side, I'll just leave Joker down for the time being, first we'll look at a display stand, then we'll, we'll kind of go back to him. Display stand has your three-quarter front, side, and three-quarter back turnaround of what the character model would look like from the, uh, basically, the animation guideline. On the side there, you've got Batman turnarounds, the Joker from the new Batman Adventures, included as well in adjustable neck. We've seen these before countless times. This brings, this can also adjust forward. Um, I don't know why the camera just unfocus there for a second. I don't know why, again, this has to be as long as it is. You know, you could easily just have the clip to a boat there. This excess, it seems so excessive to have that long of a, a pull, especially if you want to have it on the sh on a shelf that's very narrow. At any rate, we'll put that right over there. Um, I guess we won't look at Joker just yet. I want to look at these hyenas. For me also, really, this the stars of this you would think the star of this release was Joker, but I'll talk about that in a second. The hyenas, though, are fantastic. They don't stand sometimes the greatest. You have to get the legs just right for them to stand, certainly on a fabric backdrop like this. It looks like the bodies are identical to one another, along with the tails. The only thing that is varying between the two is that one has a mouth open, cackling, I'm sure. The other one is more cool and collected with its mouth closed. Glorious looking, spectacular accessories. Sooner or later, I was going to, I had hoped at least, that DC Collectibles would have incorporated the hyenas somewhere along the lines. And luckily, here, Joker, as potentially underwhelming as he may turn out to be, the hyenas, on the other hand, are spectacular. Just put one down for, for a second. Hopefully, you can stand. Articulation on actually both of them. The heads are on ball joints, so you can hinge them up and down, rotate them left and right. Just simple hinges on the forward legs and on the hind legs. 
and uh, an articulated tail, which is also ball jointed, which is a nice touch too. Hyenas, mwah, love you. Put those right over there. Okay. We'll look at Joker, then we'll look at the other accessories because like the accessories are more relative to Joker here, so we'll just kind of move that to the side. Okay, so what do I think of this figure? For the most part, I see this figure not as a personal favorite of mine, but I see this figure as potential. Potential in what regard? Well, while I don't favor the head, I've never liked this design of Joker with the very lifeless eyes that they used for this design. Very, very pale face too. Not really a lot of color on this particular Joker. What I do though see is potential basically from the head down to the feet. Uh, this body could easily, even, I don't even think much would be involved for a paint swap, but could easily be used for a Justice League Joker. Like I'm thinking Justice League Joker pretty much had this outfit, obviously just the changed back head sculpt. So I think they could easily have used this body for future releases. So while I don't necessarily like the face sculpt, I see incredible potential for this becoming an, an eventual Justice League Joker, which I'm sure as we're getting Superman animated series figures, we are continuing to get Batman figures and continuing to get new adventures Batman, I'm sure logical, the logical timeline would be to eventually get into the realm Oh boy, Realm of Justice League and Justice League Unlimited figures. And I think some of the potential figures there, mind-blowing. Anyways, let's have a look at his face. Let's work our way down. Face-wise, I will give them this. The face looks great compared, or I guess, matched with the model from the show. I just hate the model from the show. I believe their design choice for Joker, they wanted more of a smiling skull. I think that was, I think someone, whether it be Bruce Timm or another designer or writer of the series, was quoted in saying that the new design of Joker was based more so on a laughing skull. I see that with these sunken in dunk dark black eyes with very small pin sized uh, eye, eye pupils and eye, you know, and irises there. Uh, but... I don't like the design. I, I've never liked the design. It's one of the weakest things that I hated about the Batman and Superman World's Finest team up was that they used this Joker in it. The curl in his hair is a nice touch. The paint also in the green carrying around to the sides of his hair is a nice touch. But I just don't like the design. That's, that's just my own personal opinion. The costume though, on the other hand, is quite good. The purples gel very nicely. Although I feel like the purples don't always match. It seems like the lower purple in the legs aren't, isn't quite the same purple that's in the thigh portion. And then the areas right where the legs hinge is a completely different purple on top of that. The top jacket portion is all sculpted. It's not rubber, it's not an additional appliance that's added. So you can't actually manipulate in any way. The tails on the other hand are a little softer to work with, but there's not really much you can do with them. The yellow, the almost lime green, neon green color is quite nice. Really, as a whole, love the costume. But as I love it, I love it more with potential for what they could possibly do with this moving forward. He does come with a couple of his own accessories as well, aside and beyond the hyenas. He comes with a series of different interchangeable hands. Defaulted are the hands closed shut, closed fisted. If you can just pull out one of the hands here, and you gotta be careful, unfortunately. He has very long pegs, yes, but the pegs are thin, so be careful when you're pulling those out. Find a hand that's best suited for what we're gonna be using next. Put the hand in, there we go. And one of the other accessories that Joker comes with is a simple pistol. Not really much to write home about for this one. He comes with a simple pistol. It's not that I would expect Laughing Fish or some outlandish, super crazy Joker accessory, but I feel like they just phoned it in by giving him just a pistol. They could have given him something else. I understand though, granted, he does come with hyenas, so that's that's at least ups his accessories to being very cool, other than just meh. You can get his hand into the pistol here, and they've actually sculpted it where the trigger 
wraps perfectly, or the trigger finger wraps perfectly around the trigger. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and run through his articulation. We'll just kind of put the hands to the side here. When it comes to Joker's posability, it is the following. His head is on a ball joint, so credit at least, despite the fact he may not like the head, it does pose quite well. Shoulders hinge out. Full, not so much a full rotation. You kind of have to manipulate around the slightly angled torso nature of his jacket. It does have a hinge in the elbow, which also rotates the forearm. He has a rotation also and hinge in the hands. Uh, no, no apparent waist swivel. However, his legs do go forward, do go back. And of course, the split that we already had a look at he has a single hinge on the knee, and he has a just a, what looks to be a basic peg point for the foot. A slight ankle pivot, but I think it's more just the nature of the way it's been pegged into the socket, allowing for that ankle pivot. As a whole, the figure is good, but I don't feel like it's good for the right reasons. If you love the design, don't get me wrong, if you like the design, this figure is awesome. I just don't like the design of the new Adventures Joker. I never have. But I see potential, though, if they can make use of this in future Jokers, I think we're set. Just change out the head, bingo, bango, you've got yourself Justice League Joker. And uh, maybe the sky's the limit. We'll eventually get Justice League Unlimited figures and uh, maybe like an armored up Lex Luthor. I, I get ahead of myself. This sees potential, though I don't like the head sculpt, more chalked up to I just don't like the design. That's just me. Let me know down below, guys, what design you like for the Joker, whether you like the new Batman adventures or if you like the original animated series. Let me know down below. In the meantime, today's Toy Spot, we were having a look. This was the Batman, the new Batman adventures from DC Collectibles, and this was the new Joker with a slightly uninteresting new design. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.